Hey, what is going on guys? This is SMEB Reviews and let's take a walk. This is like the fourth time filming because I, I, I don't know what's going wrong today. It's just, it, it appears as though I'm not in the uh, take a walk mood, which is, uh, which is demonstrated by my lack of clothes. Um, I'm, I am wearing clothes, but they're pajamas. I'm wearing green Grinch pajama pants as I walk down this road. Um, and I got my pajama shirt on. Uh, I just threw on the jacket so you wouldn't see the shirt. <laughs> but that's new. I've never done this on, that on the channel. I have worn pajama pants before while I filmed a video, but you guys didn't know that. <laughs> um, but I had no reason to get dressed. I had to film this video, but you guys get the absolute minimal effort. That's the whole point for of this series. <laughs> yeah, for the season finale. The whole point of this series is I don't, think about it um it's never failed me yet <laughs> um so apparently today when you start to restart four times yeah <laughs> so let's see how did my week go no school that's nice uh did really well in all my classes that's nice um uh didn't get to see andrew there was a big weather system that came through kansas and missouri um and it, the yeah it was it was icy it was really bad so we had to turn we drove about hour and a half in and had to turn back um so that stunk um so did not go to that hopefully we'll be able to make it like he's he's also going to kansas city with a wall nation so hopefully uh we'll make it to that one but uh yeah that sunk, especially for the money part of it, but oh well, we didn't die, so there's a there's the plus to it all. But besides that, I've just been enjoying my break. I'll probably get really started on Year Endless pretty soon. Um, I have it all, uh, all my notes taken and it all ranked. Um, I just haven't started filming yet, uh, mainly because I want to allow a chance for an album that comes out before the end of the year to get in it because as I do my year in list, it's all of 2019, not like December of 2018 to December of 2019. It's all 2019, nothing else. So technically, albums can still be released and go into it, just what's being released. Uh, the main thing I was waiting for was Harry Styles' album uh, to see how that was. Besides that, there's not really, I can't imagine I'll hear anything, but I'm leaving the possibility open. Um, before I really get into filming. So hopefully that's like first week of January. Um, so we'll see. Um, besides that, uh, I will probably, until that video, I will be pretty radio silent on my channel. Um, I wanna enjoy the holidays. Um, I want to work on my video and what's coming out. And this is the season finale of Take A Walk. So. Uh, I, I think I'll probably just leave it um, after this. Here we can turn around. Um, I think after ah, the wind's in our faces now. Um, I think after this episode, I will probably leave it, not do anything else for the rest of the year, um, and then I'll pro I'll post the year end list, and then we will get into what is changing in 2020. For SMEB reviews, K, never mind. We're not gonna walk this way. Too windy. <laughs> uh, way too windy. Um, um, but I hope you all have good holidays. Uh, spend time with whoever and have a good time. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the I uh, ask. Here's the question. Not that I've really done questions every episode, but it's, it was the original intention. It just I ran out of stuff to ask about. Um, uh, what is your favorite Christmas song? Uh, or holiday song, I guess. Just I feel like there's definitely more of an abundance of Christmas songs. Um, so holiday, winter-oriented songs. Um, I will say that mine is Christmas Baby Please Come Home by Darlene Love. Uh, I have always loved that song. I think the production, like, it, some songs could be hindered by, like, just their age you know just the simple lack of recording options but honestly that song benefits so much from that older sound because it sounds so nostalgic in itself 
Um, Darling Love, incredible voice for someone who wasn't supposed to sing that song originally. And honestly, even every cover that I've ever heard of that song, still great. Michael Bublé's is not that great. <laughs> she likes Michael Bublé. Um, but U2's I love. I feel like I've heard another one, but I'm not placing it. Um, but uh, yeah, I absolutely love that song. Just one of my favorite uh, holiday songs of all time, easily. Uh, other ones I really enjoy are like Christmas Lights by Coldplay. I really like Lights and Buzz by Jack's Mannequin. Um, Believe in Me by Fun, because duh. Like all of those were just duh. If you had just, <laughs> if anyone had thought about it, they would have already placed it. Those would be some of my favorites. So, uh, and they would be right. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone has a good time. I'm ready, uh, ready for, ready to see some family that I don't see as much. Um, and like, I'm just glad that I'm on a little break, which is nice. But uh, yeah, I feel like I'm running out of topics pretty quick here. Uh, um, uh, been playing, been playing a lot of like a new game recently uh, called Forbidden Island. Just bought it recently. It's really fun. Basically, it's like an island sinking and you have to keep it from sinking. Um, to clarify, it's like a like a board game, not a tabletop game, not a video game. Um, but super fun, really recommend it. Um, not too expensive for tabletop game standards since they can go up to 50 bucks. <laughs> more. Well, more than that, but... <laughs> I feel like a pretty common price is around 50. Yeah. So I think 20 bucks or whatever, 15, 20 bucks, that's, that's not that bad at all. So let's, you don't want to do that again. I, yeah, last time was pretty bad. Well, I've already, we've already filmed so many of these and my arm's getting, uh, getting weak. It's really tired of holding it uh, this long. There, we'll switch hands now because then the sun's all awkward. Whatever. Okay. No, this sounds weird. You're going on this side. This is the professionalism you can learn to love from the SMB Reviews brand. Don't you worry. Um, okay, well, let's talk about the song of the week. One that I didn't contemplate for a second before I started this video. And am stalling with all the words that I can as I try to think of something. Um, but I feel like because my brand is Jack Antonoff. I feel like it's only fitting that I do a Bleachers song. So I will. Um, let's do, let's do Like a River Runs. It's my favorite song of all time. Uh, I only was so apprehensive because I feel like I can't properly explain why I love the song so much in two minutes or whatever. Um, in short, the song is about Jack waking up from a dream where he sees his deceased sister um, and just having to relive the experience of losing his sister over and over again because um, it's just a dream they keeps having. Um, <clears throat> and just finding a way to honor her, remember her, but move on and not be totally dragged down by the experience and just find a way to, to live. Um, it's a really moving song. It's definitely my favorite song of all time. I love it and I highly recommend it. Uh, it's just, there's so much more I could say, so much more. But I feel like if I was gonna condense it into a short summary to try to get you to listen to it, um, if you like eight, that 80s like Bruce Spring scene meets like modern indie alternative, uh, go for it, you'll like it. It's a great song, super moving. Um, it's got like a kind of weird instrumental breakdown, but I think it's more just like the um, learning to, like that's that's just the, represents the mental state that he would be in. It's a brilliant song. Like the music itself tells so much about the experience, let alone the actual lyrics. Absolutely beautiful, best Bleacher song. I, it, I totally need to include a Bleacher's song into this playlist. I just kind of avoid it, because I'm like, everyone knows I like Jack Antonoff, why? Why beat a dead horse? So, um, what a strange phrase. What, <laughs> what a strange phrase. Just not beat a dead 
What? Yes, it's <laughs> not being a dead whale because you always are telling people to stay away from Oh, true. Washington it, the whales. first SMEB reviews merge. Don't poke <laughs> a dead, dead whale because I'm genuinely concerned about your safety because they explode. Um, <laughs> the price you may get that faster. <laughs> I was thinking of, I was thinking of the, uh, uh dust truck. <laughs> I was, hey, I drive a truck. I know. Um, I was thinking of the Rhett and Link song. Oh, the, no. I can't think of its name, but that, that's what came to my head, the one where whales die. Um, <laughs> I, it's like the decision or something. I don't, that's not right. I really can't remember the name. Regardless, um, that's why, where I went. Um, so I'll wrap up this episode. Um, play us in the description with all the past Take a Walk songs. Thank you guys for enjoying season one. I'm sure I'll still do two, season two, but uh, it may be different. You never know. We'll see. I have thoughts. It's part of what I need to talk about in my update video for 2020. So we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. And I will see you all later. Peace out.